Good Hello. morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to the Nursing School Show. I'm Christina. Hi, I'm Matthew. For those that don't know, welcome. Thanks for joining. We help you out in nursing school. We do help you out in nursing school. And by we, I mean <laughs> Christina. This girl right here. Hello. She helps out with nursing school. I'm along for the ride. So thank you all for hanging around, even though I'm here. Today Let's we are see. talking about how to study med surge in nursing school. Med yeah. surge. Isn't that the topic for today? That is the topic for today. All right. I'm just, just making sure. <laughs> that is sure. the topic for today. <laughs> so if you have any questions regarding med surge or nursing school in general, go ahead and pop them in the comments below and we will get to those. Let's do it. As we go along. Let's jam on it. Great. So, friends, how to study med surge? How to study med surge in nursing school? Really, the thing is, the key is the key. You have to make sure that you're focusing on the right things. It's very, very easy when we get to nursing school and everyone is telling you, literally everybody in your <laughs> life is telling you, you have to read every single thing in the textbook. You have to, you know, you have to go through everything. In the entire internet world, you have to know it all, right? That's kind of the impression we get in nursing school. When you enter nursing school, you're supposed to read, have all the time in the world to be able to read everything in the book. You're supposed to critically think already and know how to think like a nurse right out the gate. You see this, right? Do you guys feel this? That it's Thumbs all up these if you've heard that or if you get that vibe, get that feeling in nursing school that you're that supposed to know everything know everything and that apparently you have all the time in the world to do nothing but nursing school everything in the world like is this you thumbs up thumbs up let me know that's how i felt in nursing school so i'm here to teach you how to actually like get through without losing your sanity completely so that's really the problem and friends, if you were to spend all of your time reading everything in the textbook or trying to do all the things, you would not have enough time to be able to critically think and learn it, right? Have you noticed that? That's always we're seeing a lot of comments. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Yes, thumbs up, thumbs up. Absolutely, yes. It's really a thing. When you enter nursing school, there's this expectation that you can do it all, be it all, read it all. <laughs> learn it all in the span of a week and a half before your exam, right? Whereas you've got kids running around, laundry and dishes to do, and just life, right? On top of everything else, especially with children, nearly impossible sometimes. Thank you, Heather. Yes, it is difficult when you have life on top of nursing school. Like, it's not like you, when you enter nursing school, your life does not stop. So that's why we got to figure out how do we study best so that we can not do it all. That's the wrong phrase. We don't, we're not trying to do it all. We're trying to pass nursing school, become an amazing nurse and not lose our sanity at the same time. Yeah. So that, that's that, really what it is. That's why so Christina is here. That's, that's why, why we're, we're here. here is we want you to be as efficient as possible, mm -hmm. know exactly the right things to study absolutely, and feel confident that you're learning everything to be the best nurse you can be. So that is the problem. Don't try to read everything in the book. It is not an efficient way to study. Don't try to be all the things. Don't try to do all the things. Don't try to be all the things. Don't try to read all the things. It's not going to serve you. It's not going to help you. Because if you try to do all of that, you will not have time to learn it and critically think about it. Okay? So that's what we're going to walk through today. How do we learn it? Like if we're not reading everything in the textbook, then what do we do? Right? How do we learn it? How do we critically think about it? So that's what we're going to talk about now. So when you are in med surge, and if you're in med surge, raise your hand, please. If you're in med surge. Digitally raise your hand. And I, we're going to jam on this. Med surge, how to study in med surge. Here are the four main things. And friends, if you are doing anything else right now, please just press pause on whatever you're doing in life right now and listen up because there are only four main things that you have to focus on in med surge. You ready for them? Pathophysiology signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. That's it. That is it, friends. 
It really doesn't get easier than that. It's the biggest blessing because when you read the textbook, there is so much information in there. I find so much information in your textbooks, right? And you've got, you don't even have just one textbook. You have a whole stack. Like, look at the textbooks that I mean. <laughs> I don't think There's that's all of them, so right? So many. These are not even that's all, of, not my all of them. Textbooks from nursing. You schools. guys out there have stacks of just nursing books galore. It's just galore. Galore. That's a great. That's yeah. a great word for it. Galore. <laughs> nursing textbooks galore. Like that is your life, right? That is life in nursing school. You've got stacks. There's so much information in there. There's so much, and you are not going to be able to learn it all in nursing school. That's just the. Th that's just the reality. If you were trying to learn every single thing in all those textbooks, it would take you a lifetime, maybe even multiple lifetimes. I don't know. Do the math. <laughs> <laughs> you know, learn it all. If we have such a short amount of time in nursing school, so you have to focus on those four key things, pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. That's it. So here's what I want you to do. Think back to your previous exams. How many of you guys have taken a med surge exam? Can you tell me in the chat, what is a good emoji? Give me yeah. a good test emoji. How about that? This. <laughs> can you give me this face? <gasps> or any kind of facial expression. If you like have that a, oh, one, there you Heather, go. that's like a great a, one. Like a nauseous face. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Yes. If you are, if you have taken a med surge yeah. test. There are a lot of people on right now test. that are in med surge <gasps> right now. Give me this, like, give me, oh, surprise. Face. Oh, that's perfect, Melissa. <laughs> I love it. The crying face. I love it. Yes. Okay. So a lot of you guys have taken a med surge exam. So on your med surge, oh, Aaron, that's awesome. Danielle, perfect. Uh, <laughs> if you have taken a med surge exam, these are the best emojis. The eyes. I like the eyes. I like the eyes. Well, like shifty, it's right? Kinda, Is that... yeah. If you've taken a med surge exam, you know. You know the reality of those. How often do they test you on random facts from the textbook? Like how often? Hardly ever. They're not just going to ask you, you know, what's the definition of heart failure? No, they're not going to do that, right? They're going to give you a case scenario question of a patient situation, right? And they're going to walk you through what's going on with that patient. And they're going to ask you what you would do about it or what you should assess for, what signs and symptoms, you know, you would expect to see. That's what they're going to test you on. They're not going to test you on random med surge facts, definitions, memorization things, right? Your med surge tests do not test you on memorization. They test you on your critical thinking skills, right? And so if we are not focused on critical thinking when you're studying and you're just focused on memorizing facts that is not going to help you when it comes to your exam time you are going to be missing the point <laughs> and there's like i <laughs> wish i wish they tested us so on facts. wait a minute you you mean to tell me that they're not going to say in your exam you know what on page 335 <laughs> what is a 10th word on that page they're not gonna they're gonna uh, not Wouldn't gonna that answer be crazy that would be nuts <laughs> <They're not laughs> that gonna would ask be that? so weird no okay no all right it's almost worse than that. <laughs> They're going to give you a full two paragraph patient situation and you're going to have to dig through all that information and pick the best answer. And here's the thing, you guys. Think back to your med surge exams. Think back, all of you friends out there who have taken a med surge exam, you've taken a med surge exam. Think back to your exam. What do they test you on? Those four main categories, right? Patho, signs and symptoms nursing assessment and nursing interventions. What? Did Christina just blow your mind? <laughs> Did I do it? Give me a mind blown emoji. <laughs> Boom. If that was like super impactful for your life. Yeah. Let us know if that is what you have experienced in your med surge exams, in your things. med surge classes. Do the things that you learn really fall into those four categories? I love the mind blows. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best emoji. Can you like give yeah. me a mind blow emoji or like something akin to that? I did not even know that existed. Oh yeah, but, I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Whoa, like surprised face or something. Give me something. <laughs> I love it. Four main things, patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment and nursing interventions. That is what they're gonna test you on, right? 
They're going to test you on, do you understand what is happening with this patient? And then from there, do you understand what signs and symptoms you might see? What would you need to assess for with this patient? And then what are you going to do about it to fix it? Like how often do we get those SATA questions where they're like, what are the signs and symptoms you would see? What are the things you would assess for? I'm talking SATA, right? Select all that apply questions. On a medication question, they might ask you, what are the side effects of this medication? What are some things you would see? That's the signs and symptoms in the nursing assessment, right? That's what it is. It's those four main categories, patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. You might get priority questions for those nursing interventions, right? Priority nursing questions. What is your priority nursing action going to be? What is your initial action going to be? What is the first thing that you will do? They love those questions on nursing. What is the first thing that you'll do? What is the first Mm. thing that you would do? And you'll get a list of them and they're all good things to do. But they didn't ask you what are good things to do. They asked you about the first thing that you would do. So that's nursing interventions, right? What are the nursing interventions that you would do? What's the best one? I love all these mindful (laughs) emojis. Yes. Four main categories, patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. And friends, it is genuinely that easy. So when you are studying in nursing school and you find yourself reading, what did you say? The fifth word on page 394. If you're reading through it and you see a really big word and think, oh, that's a really big word. That might be important. Let me highlight that. Yeah. Without understanding, without getting into the critical thinking, without understanding how it is applied, applied nursing, apply it to what you're learning as a nursing student, then that's not important. It's really, not going to help you. Really. And again, if you kind of think you're going through nursing school to become great nurses. Mm-hmm. So they want to make sure that they test you on what a great nurse does, how how you guys actually see Patience. Mm-hmm. So competence and safety. That is mm. what the NCLEX tests you on. So when you go to take your NCLEX exam, same thing with nursing school. When you go to take your nursing school exam, those are the two things they're looking for. They want to make sure that you are graduating, that you are passing this class with competence and safety that you can be a competent nurse and a safe nurse. Those are the two things two things that you are going to focus on on those exams. So, yeah. And just to put a cap in the the competency, it's not the competency of just memorizing terms. It's a competency of using all of that critically thinking and using that with case scenarios in your, in your testing case. Yep. Yeah. Making sure that you can bring it all together, connect all the dots and apply the information that you are studying. Make sense. So, That, my friends, if you have the nursing school study system, walk you through those uh, four things on page 34 and 35 of the nursing school study system. This is uh, our step-by-step guide through nursing school for you. It is uh, at nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash study system. I will go ahead and put it into the comments in YouTube if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Now. I'm going to go back in the study system because foundationally critical thinking in nursing school, it's foundational. I just said foundational twice. (laughs) It's foundational. Um, Learning how to critically think, challenging yourself to critically think, that's really the key, right? So on page 17 of the nursing school study system, we walk you through a couple, well, nine key critical thinking questions that you have to ask yourself. And then I also walk you through our DRC critical thinking model. This is a critical thinking model that we created to help you critically think in nursing school. Because in med surge, here's the problem. Again, you get to med surge, you get to nursing school and everyone assumes or expects that you are a automatically a critical thinking rock star. Like when you go out to your mailbox and get your acceptance letter, all of a sudden you are just blessed with the power of critical thinking skills. Like that's kind of how it feels, right? Like you're just 
it just showers you <laughs> with critical thinking. And that's not the case, right? You have to practice and learn and get better and fail and learn and grow and get better and fail and learn and get better. <laughs> constantly just, just repeat right? that over and over repeat again it over and over and you'll be great in nursing school and in life right fail get better keep going fail get better keep going <laughs> that's the cycle i tell you so we came up with the drc critical thinking model and walks you through how to critically think in nursing school because nobody tells you but we do there you go <laughs> you're welcome so uh, matthew will put in the chat we have a I critical will. thinking cheat sheet for you. I guess I will. Totally free. Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash critical thinking. You're putting all the comments. This is on YouTube. Um, yes. I only really have control of adding links and stuff in YouTube while we're live. So, yep. Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash, slash critical, critical thinking. thinking. Also, just a. Uh, Backing up a little bit, again, Christina mentioned our study system, which is available on our website. Uh, it is our step-by-step -step guide. Also, currently right now, we are in a membership launch. So if you want a more guided step-by-step um, -step path on how to study and how to get through nursing school, and you want a community around you for that, our community is open okay. currently uh, until Friday. So if you're planning on joining or looking at that, go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, if you do join the community, this study system is in there for you, for you, for free, for free. It's included in the membership. So um, I don't want you to buy and enjoy. Uh, so just kind of take a look, see what you would be more interested in. So uh, just go to our website for the for the membership uh, if you want to take a look at that. Yep, absolutely. All right. Please do not email me Friday <laughs> at 4.01 p.m. Pacific time asking to get in. <laughs> It closes at 4 p.m. Pacific time on Friday. So please enroll before then because we're going to help you out through nursing school. It's kind of the best. The Nursing SOS membership community. I'm not even going to say kind of. Like, it's the best. It's pretty it's cool. It's the best. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Instagram, what you got for me? A whole dose calc equation. Is there a decimal there? I can't even see. I okay, can't even see. So <laughs> I definitely recommend if you are struggling with med search with dose calc, those two are very closely related. How many of you guys on your med search exams actually get dose calc questions? Always, always, right? So if you were just starting med search, I'm telling you right now, if you don't understand dose calc, you are going to have problems, my friend. And here's the thing too. Again, you're welcome. <laughs> On page, let's see, 24 of the nursing school study system through page, this is a lot because dose calc is so important. Through page 33, I walk you through how to get dose calc questions right every single time. Easy peasy. I can I think walk there, you through. There's our, some samples in there and yep, all of that. There are stuff, sample so. questions. I walk you through them all. So please, my friends. Learn dose calc because it will help you very, very much on your med surge exam. If you are in med surge, if you are in dose calc, we have full dose calc series up on YouTube. Go to youtube.com and then search nursing SOS dose calc. And I will walk you through step by step how to get it right every single time. I seriously, every single time. I'm not kidding you. I'm like, that's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> I was like, you genuinely have to get your dose calc questions right every single time because you know medications are a big deal big big deal. big deal big big deal so that is something we we focus on both in the study system and in the membership community uh we get questions like that a lot mm -hmm. uh heather you asked on youtube a little while ago do you have any videos on other specialty like peds um mm. in the membership community we do have videos that are group by disorder uh, yeah, and for by, med surge and mm -hmm. for med surge uh especially peds specifically we do not no we do have not any have specific uh videos but again great community to ask your specific questions we yep. have um tutoring uh, form that you get answered 
like within 24 hours or something like that. So uh, again, <laughs> something like something that. Something like that. 24 to whatever. Uh, <laughs> 20 Within 24 hours, pretty there much, much sooner. The tutoring form that we just released is awesome. If you are a nursing SOS member, please, my friend, if you have any questions at all. She's a fan of that. If you have any questions at all, go to your dashboard, click on bonuses. Go to your dashboard, click on bonuses. You will see a tutoring form there for you. Submit that tutoring form and we will respond to you via video within 24 hours, but typically much sooner answering your question. So hopefully it's that- like the best. Hopefully that the helps. Best. I know, sorry. <laughs> Should I? Okay. Uh, hopefully I that helps. I so excited. Uh, okay. <laughs> It's all right. Go for it. Uh, so Heather, go ahead and check that out. If you're not a member or if you are, go ahead and uh, pop in there and ask any related um, questions, either the tutor form or mm -hmm. our Facebook group is a great place to, to ask questions as well. So 100%. For those just joining, welcome to the Nursing School Show. Christina's answering nursing school related questions. We're currently going over how to study med surge in nursing school. Yes. How to study med surge in nursing school. And basically, actually, to be honest, that's kind of it. Four key things. Pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. But now that I'm thinking about it, I did forget to mention that pathophysiology, the pathophysiology is not something that you will even really be tested on noticeably. But the thing is, is it's the foundation of all of the other three. That's the foundation of everything else you need to learn. So if you don't understand the pathophysiology, you're not going to be able to critically think or understand the signs and symptoms, the nursing assessment, and the nursing interventions, right? You have to understand the patho first. The pathophysiology is what's happening inside the patient's body. What is happening inside the patient? What is going on with the disorder? What's going on with them? You have to understand that first before you can understand the signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. So understand what's going on in the body before mm -hmm. you try to figure out signs how and symptoms to fix it. and how to fix it. What so to notice? you need to know what's wrong in order to fix it. Yep. Makes sense to me. So really those, those four things mm -hmm. are the main, or I guess it's step-by-step. Step-by-step. Yep. Step. We're all about step-by-step. Step. Christine all is about all steps. about the step-by-step. Step. All about the steps, my friends. So patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. But it all starts with the patho. But that doesn't mean that you're going to be tested in med surge on like patho. You know, like they're not going to like test you on like, hey, what's the pathophysiology of bronchitis? No, they're going to assume that you know the patho and understand the patho first. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to ask you like, Hey, what signs and symptoms would you see for a patient with bronchitis? Yeah. So are there any other comments or questions regarding med surge or nursing school in general? Go ahead and pop them in the, the comments below. Um, Instagram, are you asking someone? Uh, Xenobia? It is difficult to read I, it's hard to read from there. Uh, i tell how, you guys yeah we need we actually need to take like a behind the scenes like selfie or something because this is a lot going on <laughs> how can i become a member go ahead and go to nursing school success.com our front page i changed it to be the the launch it's currently going on right now till friday so just go to our uh, website nursing school success.com and it'll be there yep absolutely so take a look uh, uh, please, I need tips on how to study med surge. So this whole topic has been about med surge. Definitely go back to the beginning after our life go through this again, really it's the four, those four main topics that we just mm -hmm. discussed. If you have any specific questions, go ahead and ask them and we can, we can kind of field out some specific questions about med surge. Yes. Um, Back to that, you had asked that uh, specialties yes. question from sure. Heather. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Other um, do you yeah. do any videos on other specialty like pediatrics? So pediatrics, we don't have, I'm trying to think like YouTube. I actually don't really remember. We have an APGAR score video on, 
that's more like labor and delivery though. That's more like newborn care. Um, so pediatrics, I don't think we have any pediatrics videos on YouTube and we certainly don't inside the membership community. The thing with the membership community is that Nicole, who is our community manager, she's a pediatric nurse. So she does all the pediatric questions <laughs> and she's awesome. So pediatrics, we got you covered there. Um, but on YouTube, we have some maternal labor and delivery mm -hmm. newborn. Um, and then in the membership community, we have a whole course on labor and delivery newborn. And then critical care. I don't know. My mind is drawing a blank. We've got like everything in the membership community. <laughs> I tell you like all the med surge courses, cardiac, respiratory, renal, GI, endocrine, neuro. Did I mention neuro? cardiac did i mention that all the things fundamentals fluid and electrolytes medication database man friends i gotta tell you if you're not in the <laughs> nursing SOS membership community please join right now because Again, it's open until friday our goal here for everything we do our youtube these lives that we're in is to help you feel confident about what you're studying to study things efficiently so you can pass nursing school Mm -hmm. basically bottom Absolutely. line past nursing school and also have control of your life do be able to study and still be able to do other things so uh that is why we're here that is why we like having the study system for you guys available or the membership community available for you is to help you get through nursing school mm -hmm. so that's what we're here to do that's what we are here to do yep all right any other topics that you would like to discuss? Nope. Questions. Questions. Chelsea has a question. Chelsea has a question. I have a fundamental health hussy coming up. So mm -hmm. let's jam on hussy and oh, okay. surge. I need some tips. We have two tries or we're out. Okay. First off, <laughs> I'm going to latch on to the last part of your question. Uh, I have a fundamental hussy coming up and I need some tips. We have two tries or we're out out. That is not specific to your school. And here's the thing. Okay. I might, I might get on a soapbox here. We get emails constantly from nursing students and you guys know that I love you and you know that I will do everything in my power to help you through nursing school. And part of that is helping you to overcome the mindset blocks that you have. So when you write something like that, or when you think something like that, we have two tries or we're out, right? This is true for all the other nursing schools out there. So I want you to know that, that that is true for everybody else. It's not just you. It's not just you. This goes for dose calc. This goes for HESI. This goes for ATI. This goes for everything. It is, Chelsea, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. It can be can be a lot of pressure, but I want you to notice how you feel when you think about them. And when you think that thought, right? When you think, oh, I have two tries or I'm out of here, two tries or you get kicked out of the program. When you think that thought and you're trying to study from that place, I can guarantee you that it's not productive. I can guarantee you that when you're studying, and you have that thought in your mind, like, if I don't pass this test, I'm going to get kicked out of my program. or I'm going to fail out. You're not going to be studying as effectively, as productively as you would be if you were calm, if you were confident, if you knew you could do it, right? That's the place we want to get to. That's what we help you do, right? with the study system, with the nursing access membership community, with these AMAs. This is what we help you do. Like use Christina as your life coach. That's totally fine with me. Just changing my mindset. Exactly. A lot has to stem from, and a lot starts with that mindset. Yep. Yeah. The thing. Yeah. So Chelsea, I hope that makes sense. And I hope you know that I, I get it. I totally get it. Like it is very hard to overcome that. Because that was true for my school. It's true for other nursing schools. If you fail an exam multiple times, or what have you, you get, you get a couple tries or you fail the program. That's the reality. 
But the thing is, is that if you are studying from that place of fear and overwhelm and anxiety, then you're not going to be studying as efficiently. And then it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. You will not study as well. You will not do as well on your exam and you might fail out of your program. Not to scare you. That's not <laughs> meant to scare you. That is meant to empower you to watch your thoughts, to know that you can change that, right? So if you are studying and you don't believe you're going to pass your exam, then you are not going to study as effectively. You might not pass your exam and then you might fail out of your program. But if you believe that you can pass, you believe that you can succeed and you believe that you can do this, then you're not going to be, you know, overwhelmed, confused or stressed or anxious as you study. You're just like, hey, I got this. I got this. I'm studying this. I'm doing my best. I've got this. Then you're going to stay productive when you study. And when you stay productive, when you study, you have a much better chance of doing well in your exam and then passing that exam, right? And passing your program. So that's the thing. That's kind of the difference. Yeah. So whatever you can do to reframe your mind or get in that positive vibe, whether it's uh, telling yourself, I, I, I will pass, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, if you need a little reminder, if you think of a, a little Christina on your shoulder, just right here, just kind of saying, you Christina. can do it. You can, you can do, do it. it. You got this. You can do it. Then if, if that <laughs> helps, I don't, I don't know if that does or, or not. It might not help in case don't do that. But oh. if that does help, yeah, just, just think that uh, we're rooting for you and you can do it. Some of our members have told me, it's so funny. I just, this cracks me up, that they hear my voice when they take their exams. <laughs> like they hear my voice in their mind, like doing that. These are particular members I've heard this from um, <laughs> because we have so many videos inside our membership community for you to go through. So our members like go through those videos and then they hear me talking, like teaching them through their exam, which is super fun. I love that. I love that. So <laughs> it really is, it really is all about that. Friends, it, it really is that simple. I mean, I wish that I could just bless you with that yeah. knowledge, <laughs> you know, and do it for you, but it can't do it for you, right? Like, this is the work. This is what we do, right? Gotta, you know, change that mindset, change that mindset, but I'm here to, here to coach you through it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it. Maria just said that she just joined... Um, the membership this week. So, hooray! And wondering what kind of tools we have there for. Let's see. Uh, we have a med calc exam on Friday. Mm -hmm. They give us three tries. So we were talking about that. Uh, again, the positive mindset of you can do this. You'll you'll be able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, to, to advance the second part of fundamentals and onto clinical. I just joined the membership this week. What are some tools that we have for you in there? Lots. Okay. So um who who was that actually maria maria hey maria so glad to have you in the membership community okay a couple of things for you oh you Hi. just joined this week too love it so far oh wow friends so i'm gonna just butt in here a little Jump bit in. so do it our membership community is open we've wanted to do shout outs on these lives but you guys have just been overwhelming us and joining us so just a quick shout out to all the new members and yes. also all the old members be sure to say hi to everyone. We have a great supportive community in the Facebook group as well. So yeah. we are happy to have everyone. Okay, friends. So last time we opened enrollment was a while ago. And we did member shout outs on these Ask Me Anythings. If we were to do that this week, we would be here for hours. Probably literally. We have hundreds of members that have joined. And just in the past... How long has it been open? Three days. I don't even know. Four days. Sunday. It's what's today? <laughs> Wednesday. You know? It is still Wednesday today. Like, I, All day has, today, it's Wednesday. Honestly, like when we opened enrollment, it was just insanity. So. It was complete. Like I looked at Matthew and I was like, what in the world is happening? To me, I was like, what in the world is happening? So, so maybe you. we'll do a YouTube video just like shouting out everybody's <laughs> names. It's going to be an hour, two hour long video. <laughs> maybe we'll do that. I don't know. But thank you guys so much. Like we are so happy to be here with you. So happy to have the membership community to help you through nursing school. It's the best. It's truly the best. 
I can't even say. <laughs> <laughs> Nursing SOS rocks. So do you. <laughs> Love you guys. Okay, so back to is Mary, right? Um, Maria. Maria. We've got so many. Hi, Maria. I like that song, by the way. Okay. That's a fun so, song. So, dose calc or med calc. I'm assuming it's dose calc. So, med calculations. If you're a Nursing SOS member, which you are, we've got a couple of things in there for you. Um, the first thing that I want to point out is we have two dosage calculation workbooks for you in there. Two dosage calculation workbooks that you're going to want to go through. They have practice problems, tons, but not only that, I walk through the answers of those problems with you using dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is what we recommend that you use when you answer dose calc problems. Please don't use the formula method. You can use formula method and fundamentals because it will work. But as you progress in your nursing school journey, it will break. It will not work for you as you progress in your program and things get more complicated. So we always start you out with dimensional analysis because it will not fail you. So all that to say, two dose calc workbooks inside the membership community. Using dimensional analysis, I walk you through the answers for that. Now. The next thing is the study system on page doo -doo -doo -doo, and the study system is in the membership community for free for members. It's in the watch this first course. The watch this there. first course. And you are going to go download that right now. <laughs> Look on page 24 of that 24 through, what did I say earlier? I think it's like 30 something, 33. And I walk you through dose calc on there too. If you want more practice step-by-step. Um, and then also you need more help with dose calc. We've got tons of videos inside the membership community, walking you through problems for dose calc. Um, the, like the tutoring calls that we've yeah, done definitely. for the past two years. Um, if you go to go to the bonus section, click on bonuses and then just search like control F control F on your computer and search dose calc. So we, we were, We've been doing a uh, live tutoring calls every week and uh, For the past like, yeah, past two years, I think yeah. now. So uh, answering member questions. And so there's a lot of questions about dose calc. So there's some examples in there. Uh, so yeah. yeah, just go ahead and go back through that a little bit. And Maria, um, if you have not gotten the hang of dose calc yet, if you have done all that, like the workbooks and the study system, gone through the pages in there and you're still confused and you've watched the videos, you know, and you're still confused, we have that tutor form for you. So if you want us to help you more with dose calc, as a nursing SOS member, you have access to that tutor form. So if you go to bonuses and then right up at the top, it says submit a tutoring form, submit your tutoring question, and then you just fill out that form. And then we will get back to you via video within 24 hours. Yeah. We'll help you so, walk you through step-by-step. Step so I think do it. With, with dose calc, especially, a lot of topics, but dose calc especially, I think it is just a lot of practice going through problems, practicing, getting comfortable with learning dimensional analysis. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty about dimensional analysis is once you really know how to set it up and really where to put what to put in the top and what to put in the bottom, as, mm -hmm. as long as you get comfortable with that, it is almost like plug and play that um, any kind of problem you can, you can kind of backpedal it into the dimensional analysis and, and plug it and play it. So, but to get used to that, that is something new. Uh, so it just takes a lot of practice. So we try and give as many problems. Um, if you have a specific problem. That is, <laughs> we try to give you problems. Yeah. <laughs> 99 problems. Not um, those kind of problems. <laughs> the dose calc kind. <laughs> if, if you have a specific problem that's stumping you, like other mm -hmm. members have had in the past, definitely go ahead and shoot it in the tutor form. Uh, go ahead and put in mm -hmm and solve it as far as you can. Yeah. That way we can also see exactly where the the issue is or where the, you're the, getting yeah, stuck. Where you're getting stuck and then mm -hmm. be able to help more. And yep. again, I say we very loosely because <laughs> I'm not the one doing it. So, just letting you know <laughs> that you can Nicole. be confident in knowing that it's not me doing it. So, <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Actually, you're the dose calc master. <laughs> Which is so funny because I, sometimes like students have like these really complicated problems and I'm like Hey, like I solved this. Can you double check it for me, Matthew, please? Because <laughs> like this is, you know, it's um, he's the master. You taught me dose. You taught me dimensional it's, analysis. It's funny because when I started, that, that's why dose uh, dimensional analysis works so well. Is that 
I never went through to nursing school. I'm not a nurse, mm -hmm. but I am more mathematically inclined. And that's just how I learned math in general. So mm -hmm. um, just being able to just plug it into something practical instead of doing these weird things that I used to do with it. And it's like, oh, this is what it's actually used for. That's yeah. great. You can actually help people with this. That's, with that's cool. Analysis. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he taught it to me when I was in nursing school. So, so helpful. So good. So good. Aaron, nice. It's good to know. <laughs> Go look at that and we'll get back to you for sure. Yes. Perfect, my friends. Yeah. So if you guys have any tutoring uh, questions that you need, if you're a Nursing SOS member, that is there for you. Submit a tutoring forum. We got gotcha. you. We got your back. We got your back. It's what we do. It's what we do. All right. I feel like we missed a bunch of comments. I feel like... I think we're... Charlotte, I love your oh, yes. Instagram handle. Can we just please have a moment for your Instagram uh, handle? Oh, I didn't even read the rest of it. <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte actually had a question that was uh, adjacent. Uh, it's just asking what your nurse specialty is. What my nurse specialty <laughs> is? What my nurse specialty is? You know what is so funny? Um, I love nursing. I'm just going to wave at everybody. I, I, I have not waved to anybody on Instagram here. Um, Christina likes the whole waving. Bit. I like the whole waving thing on Instagram. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so my technical nurse specialty is not so fancy, <laughs> but it is kind of fancy. I am a nurse entrepreneur. That is technically my nurse specialty. That's not super glamorous. You know, the best thing about nursing school... The best thing about nursing, actually, we were just, who was I talking to, to this about? It was just yesterday. I think it was members. Mm -hmm. Actually, we were talking in, because we have so many members coming in. And like all of our new members are like labor and delivery or pediatrics. Like those are the top two that we see. <laughs> labor and delivery, pediatrics. Like everyone in nursing school wants to be a labor and delivery nurse or pediatrics. <laughs> so there you go. Um, <laughs> with Charlotte, I'm pretty sure you want to be a labor and delivery nurse or an OB nurse or something. <laughs> Hi, Francesca. So you guys, labor and delivery, pediatrics. But the beauty, the beauty about nursing is that there are so many different avenues. So many different places you can do. I keep telling Matthew, I'm like, I am going to go be a, I, I would love, oh, my heart to be a lactation nurse. So Charlotte, you're probably like right, right there. Like, I don't want to be a midwife or midwifery specialty in nursing or what have you, but I would love to help mamas feed their babies. I don't know. My heart is totally in that. I would love to do that eventually. I would... <laughs> I have all these things. I have all these things. Um, I'm, uh, you know, volunteering is so fun. You know, it's just, it's all these things. You can do anything in nursing. Like there are some, whoa, man, I've seen some also crazy nurse specialties that people have brought up in the membership community. Mm. Like things that you would not normally associate with nursing, like nursing informat informatics. Am I saying that right? We have a member inside who wants to do legal nursing. Um, so these are like, there are so many avenues that aren't like bedside, either, like legal or forensic nursing, right? So like legal nursing, uh, forensic nursing, nursing informatics. So oftentimes we get, um, we get students who tell us that they don't want to work with people. <laughs> like they don't, they want to be a nurse, but they don't want to work with patients, <laughs> which is, fine because in nursing there's so many different avenues you can do i'm also thinking um what is it s uh i'm, I'm not gonna say this word right estheticians s am i saying that right estheticians uh, that um, sounds right to me like uh like a uh, um like like botox right and things like botox injections uh nursing you need a nurse for, from my understanding, Botox injections, you need a nurse for, or something akin to that. Um, or like a, a derm, a derm, uh, physician assistant. So, uh, Botox laser, uh, l laser. I mean, they've, there's a bunch of like aesthetic things that you can do. Right. 
I imagine I I've just heard of like yeah. nurse aestheticians as a as a specialty because we've had some inside the membership community. So I think it's just amazing. There's so many different avenues that you can go down. It's beautiful. So it's the best. There's something for everyone. Well, well Char Charlotte, yeah, it's amazing career and can't wait to see where where it takes you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I guess just in general, too, that's something to be cognizant of as nursing students that maybe you have something in mind of a specific specialty or something that you want to do when you come out. But mm -hmm. uh, remember to also keep an open mind as you're going into clinicals, as you're going into uh, other places to do internships and whatnot. Uh, you might not get what you originally wanted or, or something. Yeah. You might be placed somewhere where uh, you don't want to be placed initially, but just going back to the mindset a little bit that we were talking about a little while ago, just keep an open mind and see, see where that takes you because you might love it. You might find that you actually love the specialty that you're, you're placed in or the internship that you're in. And you're going to miss it. If you, if you're just um, kind of pigeonholed into this is what I want to be, or this is what I want to do. So definitely as you're, you're going through nursing school, keep an open mind too. And uh, who knows what kind of specialty will you'll land in also. Yeah. So. To be honest, I think it's so funny. He knows this about me. I am, I get bored easily. Like I like to do just different things. And so the nursing profession for me is like perfect. Cause I tell you like by the time I am, I don't even know if I'll ever retire to be honest with you, because you always have to, I always have to be like doing something, you know, doing something different. So I think by the time I like am, you know, done, <laughs> <laughs> I will have done like so many different nursing specialties. <laughs> I think just because like, if you really wanted to every couple of years, you can just switch to something different, which I think is so fun. It's just the best. <sighs> I want to answer that one. Can I answer that one? Cheryl. Sure. Off topic. Are both of you married? We are. Yes. To, e to each yeah, other. Yeah. Pa plus on that. Yeah. It's yeah. to each other. So, <laughs> so we're, we are married. <laughs> To, to each other. Yes. <laughs> That's how that works. Hello. It's the best. Welcome. Thanks for joining. I think nursing is the best. I think marriage is the best. And I think Jesus is the best. Those are the three things. <laughs> Those are the three. <laughs> Those <Okay>. are the three. <laughs> Jesus, marriage, and nursing. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Those are the big okay. three for me. That's so funny. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man, friends. So fun. What you got, Instagram? Let me yeah. scroll. Oh, Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Charlotte, did I miss any of your questions? Not related. Okay, no. yeah, I answered that. Do, 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 Oh, pathophysiology is different than med search. Someone asked about patho on Instagram. Um, pathophysiology is a lot of memorization, but med surge is more critical thinking. So <sighs> I should probably clarify that like med surge. When you are in med surge in nursing school, you are critical thinking, cri critically thinking. But then when you're in a and anatomy and physiology or learning pathophysiology, depending on how your class is set up, that can be a lot of memorization. Make sense? Like, uh, yeah, I, I think we, we've talked about that a lot with, with A&P mm -hmm. especially, but to a certain extent, yeah, patho. And Denise was just asking for study types for Denise. patho. So in the event that you do need to just memorize, and mm -hmm. I know that we've talked about med surge, this topic, this main topic is med surge. And for med surge, it is critically thinking, taking that knowledge and applying it to case scenarios. Mm -hmm. But backing up a little bit for the memorization part to understand the anatomy and physiology to understand microbiology to understand uh, some 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 patho stuff uh, that you just need to understand and memorize. We do have a couple different ways that we found helps with just straight up memorization. And Christina's personal favorites are flashcards and whiteboards. Basically, bottom line is write it over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, repetition is really breeds that memorization. Uh, that's really the main thing. So she does it on flashcards. Uh, she doesn't. She never looked at the flashcards after she wrote them. She just kept <laughs> writing them, and we just have flashcards everywhere. But just the act of writing them down that helps. Yeah. Uh, that's why I I think whiteboards are a little more efficient that way because you can actually erase them again. But whatever. Um, 
whiteboards, you can write it out, erase it, then keep writing it. So just the act of writing it down. Uh, other things, teaching other people once you have a, a general understanding of it uh, out loud, uh, that, that engages you and enables you to have to think about the topic and state it in a different way uh, for other people. So that really helps you with your memorization and really understanding it. So th those are kind of the, the main things about memorization is lots of repetition, get as many senses as you can involved. So visually writing, uh, talking out loud to other people, uh, that really does help you. Mm -hmm. So, yep. It's really, <sighs> there are very few times in nursing school where you actually have to like memorize things, but they do happen. Like when you just, when, I mean, like the vaccination schedule for pediatrics, mm -hmm. like you just have to kind of memorize that developmental milestones for pediatrics. You just kind of have to memorize that, right? Just textbook normals, textbook yeah. normals. Those things happen for sure. Um, like the um, gynecological pelvis positions for maternal OB labor and delivery. Like you just have to memorize those. So, I mean, it's, it happens. For, but it's rare. for pathophysiology and talking about med surge, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, just in general, these case studies, it's becoming a good nurse, great nurse, and wanting to teach you how to be a great nurse. So learning this pathophysiology things, uh, while it is a lot of memorization on the front end, also understanding that there are downstream effects mm -hmm. and kind of understanding that, oh, how does this patho fit in and, and using it as a whole system instead of just a memorizing, memorizing things in silo. I think that that helps as well, because now you're not, you're actually tying it to the rest of the process. You're not just saying, oh, the, uh, the elbow does this or the knee is supposed to do this. So oh, that doesn't feel right or whatever. So mm -hmm. instead of taking things and memorizing things in silos, try and memorize it with the understanding that you're actually going to be using it down the line for the bigger picture. Absolutely. Always think bigger picture. Always think bigger picture. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> Surely my wife is a poor person that has, uh, has been taught all the information. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That was Matthew. What? Was like, what was really? me? You got to have the guinea pigs in nursing school yes, that like learn pigs. all the things. You have to teach everything. Um, Joyce, been a Joyce. Your question was a dose calc one, right? Um, no, I'm not going to answer your dose calc question live, but we talked about dose calc. Um, so definitely go to YouTube nursing SOS dose calc, and, um, I will walk you through the six step process to answering dose calc questions via dimensional analysis. So I hope that helps. Uh, Tom, uh, hi there. I have a big question. Say I'm looking at my labs. <laughs> looking at my labs on a case study and then a patient came in with pneumonia or PAD. How can I understand what labs are pertinent to that disease process? What can I? Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is, this is neither here nor there, but have you guys seen that, that meme or gif or whatever? That's all I got. It's a black lab. It's a black lab and a little toast and tote and says, I got my labs back. <laughs> <laughs> got my lab. It's a little black lab puppy. Anyway, so cute. <laughs> you should totally look it up. It's like the best meme ever. Got me, here are my lab values. Here are my labs. Got my labs. <laughs> it's a little black lab puppy. Anyway, when you have to explain it, it's probably not Me funny, but I think it's funny. really cute. I have a, a related one that I'll, I'll get to after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's see for lab values. Let me think about this. Who is this? This, uh, this was Tom. Tom. Uh, so Hello. and follow up question. What books helps with identifying oh. what labs are, are per and pertinent to a disease process? Do we, yeah. Do you have any recommendations on identifying mm. what labs are pertinent to what disease? I guessing. That. So yes. Do I have it? Oh, bummer. I don't, I don't have the book here with me and I don't even know the name of it off the top of my head. So I want to circle back around to that. Maybe yes, there is a book, but Monday. I don't remember yes, the name of it. <laughs> yes, there is a book. Yes, I used it in nursing school. No, I don't remember what the name of it is. So sorry. And it's not behind me here. 
It's not behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it was because I would tell you. Um, okay, what was the first question? Something about um, basically cardiac and how. So how basically how do you know what labs are pertinent to a disorder? And that, my friends, goes back to the critical thinking. So, Tom, you are, are were you just joining us on this AMA? Um, please go to nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash critical thinking. And in there is a free critical thinking cheat sheet that walks you through. Oops. I have them here. This is the study system. You can get this too, the nursing school study system. Um, but the critical thinking cheat sheet walks you through nine key critical thinking questions to ask yourself as you study. And that would be one of them. So one of these questions here, let me find it. Um, what interventions are most likely to be ordered by the doctor, including medications and lab draws? What interventions are within my scope of practice as a nurse to do without an order? like position changes or patient education. So that goes into what, what intervention. So there's more on intervention. So please, please download that critical thinking cheat sheet that will help give you a little more guidance on lab values and interventions. So the biggest thing is when you are thinking about a med surge disorder, thinking about, you know, for example, cardiac disorder was your question, cardiac disorder. It goes back to the patho. You have to understand what is the pathophysiology that's happening? Because a cardiac disorder for a heart attack is going to be different than a cardiac disorder, hematological disorder of like anemia. The lab values are going to be very, very different. Heart attack versus anemia. So first, you have to understand the pathophysiology of what is happening with both those disorders. And then you have to understand what the lab values are. And then you can connect the two together. Does that make sense? So it's not exactly memorization. Yes, you have to learn what the pathophysiology is of the disorder. And then, yes, you have to learn what the lab value is, what it does, why it's important, those things, what it means, what the normals are, the normal values would just be straight up memorization, right? Got to know the normals. And then you can connect the dots between those two. Does that make sense? Is that helpful? Tell me. And then I'm going to, maybe you'll remind me. Hopefully we'll I don't forget. The lab there value book. book. There is a book. There is a book. I wonder if it's on our Amazon shop. I don't think I don't think so, but that is something on my list to update. So we do have an Amazon shop. We do are affiliated there. So anything bought through there, we get a small portion of. So just FYI. But if you'd like to see some of the resources that we have, both uh, books and doodads, yeah. things um, that could help in your nursing school journey, it is amazon.com slash nursing SOS. We'll take you to our shop. Uh, it is a little outdated right now. I do want to update that and get some more goodies in there. Uh, it's our recommendations for, for you. what could help. There's some there's some fun fun stuff in there. Yep, fun little nuggets of wisdom. Oh, uh, Tiff, uh, where is the dose calc workbooks in nursing us oh, in the membership? Uh, Tiff, it's um, if you click on bonuses, there are two dose calc workbooks in there for you. So what really what we need to do is concatenate all our dose calc into a dose calc course. That's really what we need to do. Because right now the dose calc workbooks are under bonuses. And then the tutoring calls, we have done a lot of tutoring calls answering specific dose calc questions and dose calc examples. So if you go to the, um, the if you go to bonuses again, just control F, search dose calc, and those will pop up for you. Lots and lots of examples of dose calc mm -hmm. that I walk you through. Lots and lots and lots. Yes, I see them. Okay, perfect. Yay! Perfect. So glad. Um, Tom, yes. Also take a look at that the books. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get back to you on that. So please come over here on Monday, next Monday. I'm gonna talk about that book. Hopefully and, I remember. And if we find that book, I'll throw it into our store if it's not there already. Yeah. So sweet. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. So um, we'll see you on Monday. Yes. We do these lives every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, noon Eastern, and all the other times related <laughs> Wherever to you are in the world. So, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, 
We will see you next Monday. Mm -hmm. Just last, um, no warning, last notification. The Nursing SOS membership The membership community, community is open, open till Friday. So go ahead and check PM. that out. Go to our That's website okay. for more info. Yep. All nursing right. Nursingschoolofsuccess.com slash join. Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash join. We will see you inside because it's awesome. All right, Thanks, friends. everyone, for joining. Have we'll a see fantastic you on week. Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.